Boonsak Ponsanak played two, lost two. So this with uh, Jan Jorgensen having already beaten Boonsak Ponsanak and Wang Ximing having already lost to Lee Chong Wei. If Wang Ximing is to have any hope of semi-final, he has to beat Jan Jorgensen. It's quite simple. If Jan Jorgensen wins today, then it will be a straight playoff tomorrow between Lee Chong Wei and Jan Jorgensen as to who tops the group. Now well, Jan Jorgensen following in a long line of tradition of very good men's singles players coming out of Denmark. He's quite a character, what with the uh, long hair, the ponytail and the body art and... Yeah, and he looks a little bit like a musket musketeer. Oh, <laughs> yes, a musketeer. They were French, weren't they? Yeah. Gonna yeah. draw a little bit of a longer beard to become a Viking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Don't think they had the right outfit to play badminton. Oh, every time I see Jan Jorgensen, that hair is getting longer and longer. The ponytail at one stage was almost on top of his head when his hair was a little bit shorter. He's, I thought he was like Javier Nelis from Belgium, the tennis player, but he's got his own character. Wears his long stockings to play. He was telling us earlier in the week that he tried that at training after he'd had a very, very hard training session with the new Danish coach, Kenneth Jonasson, who, of course, is former world number two men's singles player, has had a fairly long spell coaching in England and has now returned to Denmark. And apparently, Kenneth Jonasson is working him very hard indeed and his calf muscles were aching, so he put on his long stockings and he felt very comfortable playing with those on, so he's transferred that into the match court as well. Wang Shiming, 23 years of age, from Guangdong province in the south of China. Finished this year's Super Series, ranked number seven on the Super Series list, and in fact the top Chinese player. Only Chinese player in the men's singles at these Super Series finals. So there is the 25-year-old, he's going to turn 26 on the last day of 2013. Jutland and 11 Super Series tournaments this year. Finished number three, number four in the world, his highest ever ranking. Achieved that just a couple of weeks ago. Well, he had a hard old battle yesterday, did Jorgensen against Boomsak Ponsana. Needed three games to come through. 21 11 in the decider. Just under the hour mark. Series at 11, Du Peng Yu at 12. So, as I was just saying, Wang Ximing, the only Chinese representative in the men's singles. Last year he finished the Super Series ranked eight, but he was the third ranked Chinese player, so didn't actually get to play in the Super Series final. So, this is his first appearance at this event, and yesterday suffered defeat at the hands of a very, very impressive world number one, Li Chong Wei. 34 minutes. Oh. Wang Ximing making a, a breakthrough this year, winning his first ever title. That was the Swiss Grand Prix in March. And appearing in his sixth final. And then later on in the year, winning his first ever Super Series title. The China Masters. So for Yang Yu, 
Robinson and all Danish fans. That might be a little bit concerning. Last time they played was in the semi-final of the China Masters, which, as I just said, Wang Shimik went on to win the title. 23-21 in that deciding game. I can tell you that he saved a match point at 19-20 down in that decider. I remember watching that. And one minute it was. Terrific encounter. But of course, Wang Jiming had the support of the home fans. I wonder, a neutral turf here in Kuala Lumpur, whether that might make a difference. successful first match yesterday and If and only if Jan Jorgensen wins this match. critical of the fact that he just seemed so intent on trying to run his opponent. Yeah, he's had a tendency to do that too, too yeah. many times. I felt he needed to take more initiative and, and get out there and win it rather than waiting for his opponent to lose it by, you know, running out of legs, basically.
champion. For the pace and the aggressiveness of the end, so it kind of surprises me that he's not ready for that. But. Well, in my opinion, because it's not the way that Jan has played against him oh, in the that past. Could be there. Oh. I have to say, this is so impressive by Jorgensen. And this is what he can do. Yeah. Wasn't he doing this in the quarterfinal of the World Championships? <laughs> well, 11 3, four minutes have been played. This is extraordinary. Oh, it was 3 1 a moment ago. Yeah. Eight straight points. And eight good points. Yeah. Got yeah, out and, and won he made them. the points. That's yeah. the difference. Yeah. He made the points. He didn't rely on the, 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 the opponent. Did he stay? So lever he not on the net. So lift he not lift. He said, that I have to still believe that I can stand way forward on court and keep coming forward after my attacking shots. And that's what we've seen him been doing, so... So it's up to Van to, 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 to see that now. Try to challenge him on that. Can't just... Do. He's trying to inject a bit of pace himself and threaten the net. Oh. 
You see, that's where the, the tactics of the challenge come in. He's, he's not going to win this open game anyway. Why, why waste a challenge? But again, it's taken away that, you know, had the tennis not been there, he would have been playing. Yeah. Sadly, we couldn't hear what coach Jesper Larsson was saying to Jan Jorgensen, but Jim, if you were coaching him right now, he'd say he'd doing everything perfect at the moment. Just yeah, um, you know, he, he needs to continue to in, 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 in the kind of style. He has to be, you know, uh, a little bit aware of that he can use the backcourt a little bit more now, so, so he can even improve the game. And that's, I don't know if that's possible because he... he but he has to be aware of that Bang is going to try and take the, the attack away from him now because he doesn't want to be in defense. Oh, 
There you see the difference. This is what he can do now. He can use the back goal uh, while we in the first set because he just kept the net. both his matches he's been a little bit sluggish at the start hasn't he yeah but did see him out here though before we were at this moment so he has been out here hitting the ball. but yeah but that's not, not the same as playing yeah and not immediately prior to to his match i mean no. most players half an hour before they're due to play that or maybe an hour before they start all their stretches they do practice on court and so on in the practice courts somewhere else at the venue and that's not a possibility here. Some players, obviously Jan Jorgensen, is quite comfortable not actually being on the practice court immediately prior to going onto the match court. It is an unusual scenario, I have to say. to do that that's probably why I was never right at the top in women's singles because playing a tight spinning net shot and somebody's standing up there yeah courage as but much it also as technique shows you, shows you confidence yeah you know when you don't have the confidence you wouldn't do a shot like that but everything's working for you yeah. in. extends his run to seven Eight, straight points four. Five, ten. 
positioning, probably right to go for the kill at the net. And it's simply the net shot here from Jorgensen was too good. Can't kill when the shuttle's upside down like that. Look. Spending much longer with his man. Seconds. Well, he's just leaving the court now. But he, I think that was just a little afterthought. He had something to say to Jan Jorgensen. Went over to him very, very brief in his instruction and encouragement. mistakes Jan made after the break is, you know, you have to be very careful because now it's only a three-point gap. And that's nothing. That's a mistake if Mang is to come back. He, he can't do a mistake like that. You know, that's smart, smart, smart smash by him, but he should be able to hit that one. Well, I've noticed several times when Jorgensen has smashed directly at Wang Shiming. Wang Shiming has struggled with that. He's better with the defensive shots out wide. Yeah, he's got a good reach, yeah. but, but still something he has to improve. Those were very vital points for the end, I think. Is Jan the sort of character that can get complacent or get nervous, or is he a very level-headed young man? I think he's he goes over cautious. I think we, we saw it in Denmark Open against Lee Chung Wei, where we also saw him, by the way, play an incredible first set. Mm. Uh, but then I think he overheated a little bit. Um, it seems to have. And I think that's one of the things that Kenneth is doing with Yan now is that to make him work 16, very, very hard. So he just knows that it's going to be. Hard, hard work. Well, Wang Jiming, three nice. straight points Seven after the mid game. Well, three straight points yeah. since the mid game interval catches up to 8 11, and all of a sudden, six straight points to Jan Jorgensen. One feels it's all over now, apart from the celebrations as far as the game is concerned. Yeah, and you can see Jan keeps going. Yeah. And, and, and that's part of the game that Kennedy's doing with him, yeah. Where Wang is not willing to work, he's, he's not working for it, he's going for it too much. That's not the way back in this match.
one suspects it's only a case of Wang Chiming trying to make this scoreline a little more respectable. Yeah, good call, my judge. Missed it. Without doubt, in my mind, the best I've ever seen in this day in play on the world stage. A bit of trickery as well. A wonderful smash to finish it off. 21-9, 21-10. 25 minutes. 26 minutes now. Well, it'll be a straight playoff tomorrow between Jorgensen, the number three seed, and the number one seed, Lee Chong Wei, as to who tops the group. But both those players are now guaranteed a semi final place on Saturday. Their confirmation of the score. And Jan Jorgensen, quite frankly, was superb today. Here with Jan Jorgensen. Jan, fantastic performance. I watched you yesterday as well. Is everything going according to plan? Uh, yeah, and actually uh, not better in my opinion. Um, <laughs> uh, I struggled a bit yesterday. We've been practicing really, really hard uh, during the last 14 days. We came directly home from Hong Kong and pushing it to the limits and practicing. Uh, I had some, I uh, think I had 100 kilos on my shoulders yesterday, but I pulled it off and, and today was really a great game, so, so I'm happy. It was quite clean and clinical today. Yeah, everything worked out well according to the plan. Um, taking the net from from Anjan Ming, he's, he has an amazing attacking shots when he gets the, the chances. But I managed to keep him out of that play, so uh, so that was quite well uh, a good tactical game in my opinion. And now, of course, two wins qualified. Lee Chong Wei up next. Can we expect fireworks? <laughs> I will give my best. I always give my best, even though we both qualified. And and yeah, it doesn't really matter because I can we can pull each other anyway in a semi final. So, but I'll give it a hundred percent tomorrow and. And uh, I'm not thinking much about the semi-final. I just want to die with my shoes on tomorrow, if that's necessary. Fantastic. Congratulations, Jan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, very modest, because in my opinion, that's the best I've ever seen him play. Jan Jorgensen, absolutely tremendous. And he was telling us how hard he had trained prior to these Super Series finals. Well, that, of course, concludes day two of competition here at the Super Series finals. It all started with women's singles and Sina Nawal, the number two seed. Well, a second defeat for her, this time at the hands of the Olympic champion, Lee 
match where a, there you can see just 27 minutes for that victory. Then we had the world champions in the men's doubles, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiwan. That was the longest match of the evening against Kim Ki Jung and Kim Asarang. 38 minutes, won eventually on their fifth match point opportunity. Then we had the world champions in the women's doubles, the three time defending champions here at the Super Series finals, uh, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, 17 and 17 against the Thailand pair. The defending champions in the mixed doubles, the Dames, Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Peterson. Well, Peterson's had a wonderful day. She's played women's doubles as well. She's won her women's doubles and the mixed doubles as well. They're guaranteed a semi-final place and for Peterson in both events. And as we've just seen, well, Jan Jorgensen, he said that it all worked to plan and he was very happy with the tactics employed. Well, to win that 21-9, 21-10 in 26 minutes against Wang Jimin, I thought was outstanding. Well, we can enjoy all the highlights from today's uh, matches, this evening's matches. Just to remind you, of course, tomorrow we've got a different time. We're here at 3 p.m. local time. That's 0700 GMT. Remember, different time tomorrow. Don't miss it. Tomorrow are the group deciding matches. Who will qualify for semi-finals on Saturday? We'll discover tomorrow. In the meantime, from Jim Lavison, myself, Jill Clark, and all the team here in Quarantine. Bye for now.